<clears throat> Good morning. Welcome in. Friday. We've got to Friday. Another week has passed by. They keep on flying round and I don't know where they go to. Um, but we're here on a Friday um, to do a little bit of crafting before we hit the weekend. So good morning Valerie and good morning Lisa. I can see your little faces have popped up. How very lovely to have you join us. Oh and Beryl. Um, right so in front of me I've got some a bit of a recap of what we've been doing the rest of this week using that um, all dressed up suite and we've got our two little bags our backpack our little note cards our shoes using our papers um, our dress card and I had a picture from Valerie last night of a beautiful dress card that she's made so uh, that was really lovely and then yesterday we were playing with this fancy fold let me put these away somewhere oh I've got lots of cut and um, class bits on my desk so it's don't want to get them sort of lost or wet or so this was our card that we were making yesterday and we'd got almost finished apart from we had a blank just there and seconds I think it was almost seconds after I'd hit finish um, it came to me that there was this little stamp in there I think it says kindness is always in style so I just did a bit of masking and then always in style was the result a few little gems and that just finished that off perfectly i knew it just needed another something in there so that was yesterday's card all finished off ready to go to somebody special for their birthday um but today i thought we would move away from that suite today and um obviously uh just over 24 hours ago um we were had the first glance at the PDF for the um, new catalogue, Morning Angie. So not only do we find out what is um, here, what's new, what's coming, we also find out what's still going to be staying. Um, and then we get the news of what is going to be going. And that's always a little bit sad. There's always a little bit of a tinge of sadness in amongst all the excitement. Um, as you scan your shelves and thinking, oh, that one's retiring, that one's retiring, that one's retiring. Um, but obviously we're now in the period of the retirement list where um, what you can still get these things. Morning, Angie, you can still get these things while um, they're available once they're gone they're gone so I thought for the next sort of um, few lives we'd just have a bit of a play with some of the things that we're going to be saying goodbye to so that if you do want to get your hands on them you know to do it quick before they're gone so obviously I'll move that out of the way shimmery white card is definitely staying um, one of the things that will be going will be our in colours our 2018 to 2020 in colours so we shall be saying goodbye to blueberry bushel to call me clover to lovely lipstick to um grapefruit grove and to pineapple punch i always struggle with that one <laughs> you think after all this time i'd have got it off pat but i always struggle with what that one's called pineapple punch so those are the five colors that we're going to be saying goodbye to so we might have a bit of a play with some of those um, those things tend to go very quickly I must admit I've not looked this morning to see how stock is holding up um, of the colors but um, I thought we'd have a bit of a play with them because even if you're not using those colors you can use different ones the other thing I have actually got here was um now, I can't even think who it was that said. Was it you that said, Angie, about making the caftan out of your bag? I did cut one out and I haven't yet done anything with it. So this is that bag die from that all dressed up look. These are the side panels. There's, there's your fold just there, but I've left the fold in to make a sort of little stitch detail down there. Um, and these are your side panels which create your sleeves. Somewhere I had got a little triangular bit that I'd swung over to make like a pocket. So yes, you can make like a little caftan tunic -y thing with your um with your bag dye. So yeah, I do think I would show that this morning while I while I found it again and thought about it. Um but I thought the stamp set that we would use this morning that we'd have a play with is one that's been on my desk this week. 
and I'm quite sad to see go um, because it's not something that we've got very much of it's the sort of thing that I shall be hanging on to because it just is so useful if you are sending cards to somebody who's particularly musical music from the heart and it's this really cute little stamp with lots of nice greetings on you rock happy birthday you're the music of my heart you've got the sort of the grid lines for doing your music on you've got notes at a treble clef you've got your piano and you've got this very clever couple of stamps that together create a guitar so um it is a really lovely stamp set I do like it and as I say quite sad that this one is going so I thought we'd have a play with this one today before we have to say goodbye to it I'm sure there must be a song in that somewhere I'm sure there's a hundred songs along the theme of saying goodbye right let's cut a piece of cardstock how deep is that 13.9 so we'll make it nine and a half wide so we're going to have a bit of a play with that and we'll gradually build our mats up to uh, to go with it and i think i'm going to start with some blueberry bushel morning sarah some blueberry bushel ink and i'm going to give that a bit of a squeeze actually what i might do I might grab, oh, I've just wrapped my microphone wire around something on my trolley. I might grab my reinker and just put a couple of spots of reinker in there, I think, rather than trying to squeeze the ink out of it. And an aqua painter. Now, our style of aqua painters looks like it's going to be changing as well. So that's all exciting. They're just little things, but. It's exciting. I'm going to add a couple of drops of water to that ink and get rid of that hair and lay down a bit of water on that card. Before picking that up and doing a bit of a watercolour wash. Right, let's clean my brush out. I've also been doing lots of poppy things this week, so my, my simple chamois is looking very red. I'm going to shut that up a second. And I'm going to leave that to dry. I'm just going to go and grab um, some... some vellum it's right I'm just thinking I thought I'd had half a sheet left over of vellum yesterday or something but I don't quite know what I'd have done with that so never mind <clears throat> morning Jane just going to cut that in half I'm going to pop that half back in the packet so I'm just playing with half a sheet I'm going to cut a strip of this that is hmm, let's go for about five centimeters wide I think I'm eventually going to have that coming in over the top of our watercolor wash so we'll have a bit of a play with the stamps while well, that's just drying off. Right, I'm going to grab this treble clef just here and they're really lovely because it's got like that little heart in the middle there, look, little heart element. I'm going to grab the 
they staves? I'm not very musical. Is that what they're called? And some notes. And I think I'm going to grab my um, stays on because uh, it dries a little bit quicker on the vellum. Now piercing mats are something else that's retiring. So if you want a piercing mat, now's the time to get one. because they're going. Right, so I'm going to, I might trim this down a little bit in a little while. I'm going to move that along there a little bit. Now I think I am going to dig about in my drawer and just refill my stays on. I don't know if there's any ink left in this. Yes, there is just about. I know this one's nearly empty, but I have got another one. I'm just going to run some ink on that ink pad and give it a bit of a refresh. second while I find a block to pick up the treble cliff. Let's come that way. And that will just about fit on there beautifully. Bit of a blob there but that's all right we can always find something to cover a bit of a blob and then I'm going to get a little block and let's put in stave is correct thank you or staff in the US okay thank you Emma see it's very useful for us when your teachers are not in school all the time sometimes um, Bring that one up here and then we'll have one coming right down there. And then we'll take the next one. Last, but by no means least. Oh, that wasn't very um, well done, was it? Can we line that up? We can. There we are. I think that's probably enough. No idea what that would play if you tried to play it. going to have that coming across here it's quite cute isn't it now then do I want to I'm just going to trim that end I wondered whether to tear it but I think actually I'm going to trim it so let's just do that get rid of those bits they're not cute oh yeah, it's one that you could still get it at the minute, Emma, but um, not for much longer. So we've got some water wash in the background. We've got a vellum music on the top. Let's have a play with some of the other things that we've got in here. So I'm going to pop that there for just now and grab 
Um, let's grab our bag of oddments of shimmery white. Is that an oddment of shimmery white? Yes, it is. It looked a bit too white to be an oddment of shimmery white there for a moment. And let's, I think, we'll go with our piano. I'm going to just open up the back door because it's getting a bit warm. isn't it Angie? As I say it's one of those because it's sort of such a speciality type one it's one that I won't be selling on sometimes I sell some of my retired stamp sets this won't be one of them that was that was not good let's do that once more with feeling That's much better. <clears throat> Let's use our aqua painter again. I think I'm going to keep it fairly monochrome. I'm going to use some more blue ink. We'll just give our piano a bit of a paint. Bless you, whoever that was that just sneezed. I am going to grab my two inch circle punch. just about fit in there I'll take this keyboard Try that again, see if we can get that a bit better, a bit darker. That's better. Stays on is one of those inks that it is <clears throat> notoriously difficult to stamp with. <laughs> Need to cut out that little keyboard. going on in there as well. Oh, but we'll have it this way. I think I'm going 
going to take my <coughs> it's pretty well dry now let's just move those back a little bit and add a bit more water into there to make it a bit gloopier let's just do a bit of splattering on that background And the other thing I'm going to do, just run that brush here. Is in here, there's a tiny little heart stamp. So let's find our little block and our little heart. And I think I'm going to do that in blueberry bushel we'll just add in some hearts in the background here as well randomly I have managed to, I was going to be so careful not to splatter my um, vellum but we've got a bit of paint splatters on my vellum and on the piano but that's all okay it'll add in beautifully and then I think we just need one of the greetings and because we've added in um, all of those hearts I think we'll have the greeting that says you're the music from my heart um, I'm wondering can I have a bit of a play we'll see have a little bit of blueberry bushel cardstock and stamp that in black we'll see how whether that is enough of a contrast hi glenda we're having a bit of a play with one of the sets that's retiring with this um, music from the heart set Just gonna trim that along. Just gonna and a gonna shanna. Um just going to trim that along <laughs> and uh, let's do a nice blueberry bushel because we we've, we've stuck very monochrome with this one. it to be a blue mm, a blue card base or a blue on a white card base let's go blue card base and if we want to trim it down further we can do it's not so easy to go up a size once you've trimmed it down but we can trim our card base down further if we want to so let's score this at ten and a half. And actually what I might do on that is bring in a bit of black card. Is that long enough? Yes.
perfect. And we'll back that onto black as that will make that pop rather beautifully. And we've got our vellum coming across here. We're going to have our piano. We're going to have our keyboard and our greeting. So our greeting we will trim off at an angle. Something like that, methinks. Right, okay. So let's start sticking this together. Put a bit of Tombow on the back of that one because we have watercolored it so it's going to be a little bit bowed just because of the nature of having had water added to it. Now I'm going to put some little tiny spots of glue just, oh, that's a bit big. I wanted it slightly tinier spot than that. Behind our notes. So let me take off some of that spot there. Okay. Some little tiny glue, bit spots of glue behind the notes so that hopefully that won't show too badly because vellum of course is notorious. We'll have that upon some dimensionals. I'm going to have this coming out from behind it. Out like there, so I'm going to stick those two together. And we'll run some dimensionals down the back there. our little keyboard coming in there so I'll just pop a couple of glue dots on the back of that I think just to anchor that down curls quite nicely around that um, sentiment doesn't it just lost our apostrophe slightly and then um,
is actually the Knight of Navy twine out of the um, Country Guard, the Country Club um, suite. But that also is going to be retiring. As is White Baker's twine, which um, that was quite gutting. That was one of the things that's a bit like, no! Right, so there we go. We would obviously need to put um, a white insert into that card because we can't just have it blue on the inside. It's quite fun, isn't it? So if you've got somebody that is musical, what shall we stamp on the inside? Um, I just take our staves, or what were they in the US, Emma? I'm having to look back, already forgotten, you see, staves, staff, you thought they were in the US. So our staves or our staffs. And we'll just print that so it goes off the edge. So now I've got a nice grid line on my um, piercing mat, but we're not going to worry about that. And then we'll just take some of these little notes. with this one first there's cute little birds in there as well so like your blue birds over your white cliffs of dover Obviously, you could do this on your envelope as well if you wanted to. A couple of little hearts in there as well. I'm afraid I not I can't read music at all. I love to sing. Um, my daughter Emily plays played the oboe. Well, she still has her robot. I don't know that she gets much chance to play it these days. But they're all dots on a page to me, literally. But there we go. We have our little inner as well. So there's one. But I think we should do a second one. Yes. Yes, let's pop that twine away. Let's clear the decks so that we know we've got everything ready to start again. Pop that up on the side. I'll bring it back in in a minute. Let's just gather together all our stamps so we know we've got them. There's that one, that one, that one. There's our... Um, piano there's our stave our treble clef our keyboard And 
and a greeting and last but not least the one that's likely to go missing if you're not careful that little tiny um, heart so we've also got um, these birds that we haven't used we haven't used this guitar bit here so we might have to think about doing something with that this lovely note just here with the heart in I think we'll use that one so let's have a look let's see what we're going to do for card number two um, I actually think um, Going to dig about and find in here Hormy Clover. Specific points. Blueberry bushel. Have I looked at that one? Yes. Lovely lipstick. Pineapple punch. Oh, they looked quite so coral. Great fruit grove, right? Got you. And let's take a piece of um, take it with a whisper white card. And um, how wide is that? That's nine and a half. So let's make it 13.9 and we will see how we go from there. And we're going to use, to start with, I think these little notes here with the little love hearts in. I think we need a slurp of tea. Obviously just to help the um, thought processes. And we're going to stick with stays on because that sounds like it ought to be a advertising slogan, doesn't it? Stick with stays on. We're going to stick with stays on because we're obviously using water-based pens. So let's add a good ink. And I think I'm going to do some random heart and um, sort of well, it's called music from the heart, isn't it? So let's randomly stamp over that background with these hearts. The lid on our stays on so it doesn't dry out while we're we're colouring in. I'm going to bring my chair in. Let's sit down on the job and then I think we're going to use our pens. To colour in and a quick calculation three six 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it's about 16 there, um, five pens, so around about three with each pen, I make that, 
they're not all complete hearts anyway. Let's scatter these about a bit. So there's some call me clover ones. Blueberry bushel. Some lovely lipstick. Grapefruit Grove. I'm possibly going to do that one in Grapefruit Grove as well. And then pineapple punch. That's quite fun and funky, isn't it? Now Wondering, um, these little birds, you seem to have a lot of blue little bits, black bits of fluff on him. But one of these birds looks like he's um, flying. So I might make him a, a blue bird. Morning, Hilary. Because that's so fluffy, I'm just going to... Uh... Yeah, no, we're okay. I'm going to add in some bluebirds Back to this little heart. I think that in um, lovely lipstick. Really quite a fun background, isn't it? Quite funky. I think we'll leave that background for now and then we're going to have a look 
at um, this guitar. I'm wondering what colours to That's a real pop, isn't it? Let's do that. That's nicely mad. We're going to do funky colours in the background. We need a... a funky base. So, 10 centimetres by 14.4. That is 14.4, brilliant. Now comes the question, are we going to go white card base? Oh, let's go green. Let's, let's get that colour really going, shall we? Let's um, cut this card base. I'm going to cut it at cut it at ten and a half centimetres all the way down and then we'll come across and score at 14.9 make it a side opening card. There, that's rather fun. Right. I want, I want, I want, I want the Stitch stars, they would be rather fun, wouldn't they? I'm going to cut a yellow one out of the middle of that because we're not going to see that one and I'll find a bit of green card to cut that one out of. Let's carry on with that green and yellow. So let's just run those through the big shot. Where's my yellow mat gone? Let's have that back. Oh, that's looking rather fun, isn't it? So now we need to Do this little guitar. And mm, I might go in lovely lipstick actually. So to create a guitar you've got two sections. You've got the sort of 
this strut here of the guitar and then you've got the treble clef that makes up the the remainder so let's get our lovely lipstick I think we decided didn't we let's get our lovely lipstick actually I'm going to do this bit first let's lipstick ink and we will stamp that on there beautiful because this is the bit that then you have to sort of line up oh <laughs> let's hope it's about there seeing as the stamp's just fallen off do you think it decided for itself that's not a bad match actually apart from the blob on the bottom i'm going to cut that out anyway that's not a bad not a bad hit i might just take my brush Just use it to drag that colour out. And then let's get rid of that ink off my finger because you can guarantee that's going to stick on the where we don't want it to. roughly round there needing a bit of a border Not today, I won't be back in, or not planned to be back in, until Monday. I'm actually going to take the weekend off, I think, as much as I'm able. doesn't mean I won't be browsing PDFs of new catalogues and making wish lists or anything but um, so there is our funky guitar I really like that guitar but I'm wondering if it is bright enough I think looking at that actually as beautiful as that is and I shall put it to one side and I'm not guaranteed that I won't use it at some point I think I'm going to come back in do we think we'll be able to stamp the um, Whether the guitar will fall just in the right place a second time. Let's go for it and see. I'm going to actually stamp it on to lovely lipstick card with um, stays on because I think there's such bold colours in there that I think that watercolour effect is just lost. So let's stamp that. And then, once more, we will, excuse me, my head's getting in the way, line this up, about there. Okie dokie, put the lid back on there. I think that's going to be much bolder which I think for this card is what we need 
So we'll do the same, we'll stick it, cut it out with a little bit of a border going all the way around. So sorry, second time you've got to watch while I cut round a guitar. Morning Sally. Sally sent us all a quiz yesterday. Which chocolate bar are these? All these little pictures of the inside of chocolate bars. I've decided I needed to, I tried doing it on my phone, but I think I need, I need the pictures a bit bigger. So I'm going to have to open it up on my laptop, I think. I've got quite a few though, that I recognised and then, oh yeah, that's definitely a, a crunchy or a, Mars bar. That's better. It does, did definitely need it to be bolder. And then I think for this one, we we've absolutely got to have the greeting that says "You rock." Um. And perhaps we'll have that. A little bit of white card. Let's stamp that with some blueberry bushel. I'm fine, thank you, Karen. How are you? The sun is shining, the birds are singing. I felt as if I had a, a pretty good day. By the time I went to bed yesterday, I'd achieved quite a lot. Got a bit more to achieve today. So if I can get that done, I should be back on track. Let's just snip those ends off and we'll have that then coming across here. So let's ready to put that together um, do, do, do. let's try that once more morning Lucy Right, okay, let's get sticking. We're going to miss these really bright, bold colours, aren't we? So we have a yellow pineapple punch mat with a star cut out of it. But once we stick it down, nobody's going to know, only us. And I won't tell if you don't. So let's um, put some snail on the back of that and pop that down on our Call Me Clover side opening card. And then we've got our lovely um, background that we stamped with that lovely heart shaped note that we coloured in with the in colours and we added in some bluebirds and some lovely lipstick hearts to make that really funky background and then I'm going to take this big floppy black bow and 
and a glue dot. This is the perfect card for the, uh, the teenager next door that's been entertaining you all year with his band practice. I haven't got a teenager next door entertaining me with band practice, but just in case you have, you have I'll stick this one direct onto the card. Come down a smidge. And then we'll have this little yellow one that we'll put onto some dimensionals and we'll have that on a bit of an angle. Perhaps you have the teenager that's entertaining the neighbours. <laughs> I was about to say, you could uh, tongue-in-cheek send them this card. <laughs> Hang on to it. Wait till you've got new um, um, neighbours and then um, you could send them the card as a welcome to your new home. <laughs> Right, and then we'll, we'll have our guitar coming um, on a bit of an angle, I think. Coming down there, I'll stick that. On there, and then we'll put some dimensionals either side of our U-Rock. How's that? That's funky. So two very different cards that we have created. So one, you know, you could very easily send to your piano playing granddad. Um, <laughs> but I don't know, unless your granddad happens to be Mick Jagger, perhaps not so much that one. But never say never. So that is using this gorgeous soon to be retiring music from the heart stamp set so if you do want it you need to get your hands on it because once it is gone it is gone and then you won't be able to create subtle and mad cards like we have this morning so thank you for joining me i will be back now on Monday morning and I think probably next week we'll take we'll probably take a different stamp set or a different um, um <laughs> well done div um a different um oh product each day um of things that are retiring um just so that you're aware of some of the loveliness that is out there that you need to get your hands on before it's gone because otherwise you end up searching eBay and things for it. So much better to get it while you can. Okay, so have a lovely weekend, everybody. And um, I will catch up with you next week. <laughs>